Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Lee Gerstman, and I have a record review for you. I have a, to give a thumbs up to James McCormick. How are you doing, my good buddy? I give that thumbs up to him because I asked him what album would he suggest that I review. And he had mentioned Kiss's album, Harder Than Hell. Well, I have to tell you a little bit of a backstory on this album before I give my review. When I was about maybe nine, maybe either almost or exactly about like nine years old, I heard Rock and Roll All Night on a KTEL album. And I didn't know what album it was from, but the picture on the cover was Rock and Roll Over on that KTEL album. And then I later found out that the album that Rock and Roll All Night was on was Dress to Kill. But Let's just say, you know, eliminating a lot of chapters of this explanation, I was a KISS fan. So, I would buy a lot of KISS albums. And one album that I was always interested in was Hotter Than Hell. And a lot of times I found that it wasn't in the stores. But the cover intrigued me. So, when I finally found it, I got it. And I was like, yeah, I got this sucker. At that time, I heard it and I thought, well, this doesn't seem quite as impressive as their other albums. I mean, of course, I listen to it like I listen to their other albums, but I had thought this album is lacking somewhat in whatever way it's lacking. Well, I heard it again for the review, and even though my general opinion of the album is maybe a little bit you know, still similar to how I felt about it. I have to be very honest and say I like certain songs better now than I did back when I heard it. And those songs were not necessarily the songs that I liked when I first heard the album. So instead of giving you a review of what I used to think of it, I'm going to give you a review of what I think of it now. The first song, Got to Choose, I thought to myself, hmm, Paul Stanley said he wanted to sound kind of Motownish. I really like his rhythm guitar playing on it. The song itself is maybe a little bit basic to my ears, but the way they play it, they play it like there's a lot of meat on it. And I generally pretty much like that song. And then Parasite. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get into... Well, okay, I'll get into the fact that that was one of my favorites always off of it. But when I heard it again now, it seems to me skeletal. Like, it has a lot of gimmickry to it, but in truth, it didn't seem now, consistency-wise, to be such a great song. And that surprised the hell out of me, because I always loved it. But when I heard it again for the review, 
I was like, it really isn't one of the better songs off of it. I'm, I'm really sorry to say that. But I'm not sorry because it's my opinion. <clears throat> anyway, the third song, Going Blind, I never liked it when I heard it generally growing up and stuff. I have to say that now it sounds kind of English rock, and I dig it. Illy digs going blind. Ah! But yeah, it's an okay song. Harder than hell. The next song. I really have to say a three-word opinion on it. Boring as hell. The next song, Let Me Go Rock and Roll, I loved it then. I love it now. It is one of my favorites. And then the song, All the Way. That song was also a little bit skeletal in form, but I found it had a lot of meat on its skeletal form. They really rocked out a lot to it, and I ended up really enjoying it. And then watching you, eh, that one to me sounded filler. Not a bad filler, but just filler. And then Mainline sounded to me like good English rock, like Roy Wood from the group The Move. It's actually now one of my favorites. It had a lot of meat on its bones, and it was the most substantial song on the album. And then Coming Home... That one also, surprisingly enough, had a lot of meat on it. And I really dug it. It would be maybe another favorite of mine. Probably my second favorite. And then the last song, Strange Ways. It was good. It was like a surprise candy. It wasn't necessarily the kind of thing that I ordinarily would like. But it also had an interesting English vibe to it, and I liked it. So I would say Harder Than Hell is one of those albums that, depending upon my mood, I either like some songs better than others or not. But during this particular listen, this was how I thought of it. And the stuff that people say about the production of it, I can't say that that was what I was focusing on. I only focused on the fact that song-wise, the songs affected me the way they did. And production-wise, it seemed fine. It's just that... The songs have a very particular thing about them that no other Kiss album has. So, I would say I respect those people who really like it. I still only would say I like about maybe 50% of it totally. But I do respect the other 50%. So... Hey, right on. And one other thing that I want to say is it reminded me of the group T-Rex. They were a group that, depending upon my mood, I either liked or didn't like certain songs of them. But I would have to say that this probably was close to being like an album by T-Rex. So if you like 
Kisses Harder Than Hell, you might like to hear T-Rex and one of their albums. Anyway, that's been my review. And thank you, James, for suggesting it because it gave me the opportunity to listen to it again and to talk a long time about what I thought of it. Cheers, everyone.